Good evening all. So we have come back with a very interesting topic and today we'll be talking about assessments and uh, feedback loops and information and all we, why people get, get assessed and what is the benefit of having assessments and is assessment something that you should look at it as something that is against you or you should look at it as something positive that can help you to understand yourself and to understand your skills and to understand your capabilities we have always been subjected to assessments all around our world all, all the time uh, during school exams during university exams during uh, driving license during a life uh, uh, professional exams which allow you to get a, a particular certificate uh, feedback loops about job performance feedback loops about prof promotions assessment for your capability to grow and to be able to do to conduct uh, different uh, elements of work so these kinds of assessments and these kinds of feedback loops are some of the best things that people should try to understand are they good for us or not so why people get assessed people get assessed because uh, they uh, they need some level of information about a particular skill or a particular trait or a particular capability and usually human beings understood that they are different and they have different uh, characteristics and they have different performance criteria some of them are tall some of them are short some of them are smart some of them are strong some of them are long-sighted some of them are short-sighted some of them are patient some of them are um, uh, some uh, some of them are uh, sh ha has a short fuse a lot of traits that actually have made the human beings as the most diverse species ever. It's very hard to predict the, the behavior of a particular human being in a way that is, very, uh, in a, that is similar to the behavior of an animal. There are some similarities, but by far humans are more complex and uh, they have a very uh, diverse uh, way of behaving and they are adaptive they are innovative they they build things from the environment which make you which make uh, predicting their behavior and predicting their performance one of the hardest thing ever that's why sometimes a lot of assessments fail because humans tend to change or humans tend to develop certain criteria so when the assessment was done at a particular time to measure a particular uh, trait you discover that actually that individual after some time has changed his behavior or has changed how he uh, how he perceived things or how, how he's changed his level of capability for example if someone assists me if i am a good cook 10 years ago i will fail but if someone assists me if i'm a, if i am a good cook today i will pass so it's something that you sh we should always think about assessment from different perspective from a timeline from uh, from uh, uh, from uh, the angle of the our benefits so i have three criteria about assessment that make an assessment a suitable one because a lot of assessments are not suitable and a lot of assessments people don't understand why they are have to do them just because the government want them to want them to do them or because a particular individual ha uh, told them that you have you have to do them so there are three criteria that make an assessment worth doing the first one is the assessment doing its intended function and you should have a very clear understanding what is the function that i am trying to achieve through this assessment so if we look at the a levels or the high school exams what is the function that the a levels do so if if you think the a levels help students to assess their capability in terms of knowledge in terms of memory capability in terms of uh, some cognitive skills i will tell you yes they do but if you tell them that they are designed to assess their interest and guide them in life i'll tell you i'll tell you that no they do not and in many cases it's the government job to help students to understand their interest and to understand their passion and to understand the things that they can excel at rather than just to assess them on things that they are not interested <laughs> interested in doing 
and they ha they have no passion in doing so they will not actually allocate any uh, intellectual or emotional uh, resources into doing that task so that's that's the first thing that the, the, the assessment should clearly define its intended function and the second one is about justice the assessment should be just which means that everyone should be subjected to this uh, to this uh, assessment regardless of who he is or if regardless of what is his background and let me give you an example of university exams a lot of university exams are, are horrible they are not useful and in many cases they are not intended to uh, deliver any specific function. They are just one question that you might answer and you might not answer. And at the end of the day, you would be judged, are you a better engineer or a worse engineer based on your answer to that particular question? <laughs> and that's by far, that's by far an exaggeration, which a lot of people understand that no way this is really a, a proper way of assessing whether someone is a good engineer or whether someone can do a particular work or whether someone possesses the set of criteria in a particular domain of knowledge. However, they just do them and this is the best way to do assessment and people say, okay, fine. So by far, it, most of these assessments, they are not doing their intended function. So you would see that maybe someone score in economics badly, but he would be a, a highly, a high, a highly influential investors because he failed to answer question about derivatives or question about uh, what uh, what is the size of the market or what are the categories that uh, uh, of different markets. So that's the first thing. These uh, tests does not uh, deliver their intended function, but they are just, and that's a good thing. So they are just that everyone in the university or everyone in the class is subjected to those exams, is subjected to those uh, uh, assessments, is subjected to, the, to those particular uh, questions. So it's just. So we don't have. We, we we are not bad about. Uh, we we should not complain about the just part of it, but we should always complain about what is the function of this. And the third one is the important. So what is the benefit of this? Are you assessing me to help me to grow or you are assessing me to eliminate me? Are you assessing me so I become a, a, a good person uh, 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 that uh, can deliver better capabilities and I can understand uh, myself more? Or you are an, uh, assess me just to give me this negative rejection and reaction of uh, of of yours that you tell me that I failed your own assessment. So what are assess? What is the benefit of this assessment? Uh, is this is this for my own interest? Why I'm doing this assessment? Is it for the interest of the society? So I think a lot of these assessments, unfortunately, they are intended uh, that that they have malicious intentions. Sometimes to eliminate people. Sometimes not to guide people. Sometimes not to help the poor uh, become better but actually just to uh, differentiate between people and help some people get more resources just because they are better in a particular assessment. It's hard. There is no utopia. I know there is no utopia and there is, it's, very, it's very hard to think about assessments in this way and how we can conduct them and should we always think about justice and function and, uh, and benefits? Is this really what we should be doing? And I say yes. Because they are very hard. You know, sometimes people lose their jobs because of assessment. Sometimes they, they spend a lot of time uh, getting a driving license. Sometimes they are just in a situation where you start thinking, well, maybe they, uh, uh, maybe they failed because they did not do the, the, the right preparation for the assessment rather than the assessment. So in many cases, those assessments are designed to tell you you pass or fail to eliminate you from a particular group rather than to help you to grow. And this, we need to clarify this, that assessments should be a beneficial tool for the, someone who's being assessed. And I know it's very hard cases. I really had a great concept called the club in one. And club in one, what's club in one? And I think I need to talk a little bit about it.
So club in one is about analyzing the individual, understanding his capability, understanding his skills, and understanding others, and understanding their skills, and tell them, hey, boys, based on these skills, based on these traits, based on these capabilities, maybe we can link some of you together to help you to build stronger teams. And if you build stronger teams, then you can build stronger companies, stronger organization. And if you build stronger companies, stronger organization, maybe you'd have a stronger income and maybe this would be reflected in your lives. So if people understood that, doing the thing I like and understanding what I do is not about failing a particular exam or passing a particular exam. Maybe it's about finding who I am and trying to promote the right skills for myself. Of course, there will always be people who are bad at everything. And there will always be some people who are good at everything. And I believe in this. Unfortunately, I really believe in this. That, yes, some people are designed to be good at so many things. And some people are designed to be so bad at so many things. But I also think that empathy and uh, understanding our uh, differences is essential for our, uh, our humanity to function. Imagine if we have all the same level of intelligence, it will be very hard for us to manage each other and it will be very hard for us to be a, a, a proper functioning teams. There will always be a queen in the bee kingdom. There, all, there will always be key, queen in the ants kingdom and it looks like that this is the nature of life and this is how God has created us and he has emphasized on this in so many Quranic texts text that yes, every life is equal but or maybe we think about every life is equal but not every individual is equal in terms of capability, in terms of traits, in terms of differences. We try to utilize the best one of them but some of us will be very, very good and some of us will be very, very bad and many in the middle and those in the middle and those at the top should be taking care of the one at the bottom and it's so on and I think this is how life should be and at the end of the day we should achieve happiness at all levels it would be very easy to achieve happiness at uh, someone who is really uh, not getting much in life but sometimes it's very hard to achieve happiness for someone who has a lot of desires and a lot of uh, a lot of motives so if life is about ha happiness if life is about self satisfaction maybe some assessments would help you to become happier that was my talk for uh, tonight i wish you a great evening and with that i shall say salam